I'm Kenny from Pro Tool Reviews, and I've got DeWalt's brand new 12 volt brushless one handed reciprocating saw. I've also got a couple of guests with me today. We have DeWalt's original pivoting 12 volts and brushed model, and then we've also got their pretty recent Atomic 20 volt Max. So we're going to get into this box, see what's different, see what's similar, and then I'll make a couple of cuts and see if we can notice any differences. So. Getting into the box here, Let's see what they include for us. Contractor bag. All right, extra paperwork. A couple of blades, a wood blade, and then a uh, smaller metal cutting blade. Here's the saw itself. And uh, we'll let you take a look-see there. It's going to look very, very similar to the one sitting on its right. Uh, let's see, they include their multi-voltage charger, so this one does both 12 volt and 20 volt max batteries. And let's see what battery comes in the kit here. Okay, so uh, this is actually a little bit different from DeWalt uh, in that it's a 3 amp hour 12 volt battery, so a little bit more runtime out of this pack than we've seen and like I've got one here this is one of their two amp hour packs so a little bit more energy in that uh, oh and let's see I don't think they had this on the two amp hour they didn't they uh, they added a battery gauge to that so nice to have of course it doesn't come fully charged we didn't expect it to uh, so I've got the two amp hour battery as a backup if we need it and there we go so obviously just taking these out of the box Clearly the form factor is moving toward what we saw from the Atomic, definitely away from the pivoting handle, uh, which we do like this pivoting handle. Uh, it's helpful, but definitely a lot different there. So let's just go ahead and take a look at the Atomic and the 12 volt brushless side by side. And from the top anyway, they look very similar. They're about the same length. They did. It looks like they did put a different shoe on the front here. So we'll uh, point this out. The uh, Atomic came with a pivoting shoe, and it's got this claw on it that helps it grab a hold of two by material or something in, in place of a rafter hook. Uh, the 12 volt. This is just a fixed shoe, and it doesn't have that claw. So a little bit different there. Obviously, uh, this is a little bit taller because the 20 volt max battery is a little taller. But other than that. They really look like they're about the same size. Look like they're about the same height, so very similar form factors. And in fact, they, they do have the same stroke length and stroke rate. They're 5 eighths inch stroke, length, or stroke length, and then uh, 0 to 2800 strokes per minute. And of course, it's just a variable speed trigger. There's no uh, variable speed dial or electronic settings or anything like that that's on there. So. This should feel pretty normal now. What I'm curious about is whether or not uh, the vibration control is as good in the 12 volt and how the cutting speeds are actually gonna work out. So let's take a peek at that real quick. I got a couple of uh, Lennox 18 TPI blades for us to use here. And lock those in. The, the blade clamp mechanism is exactly the same. And this is worth pointing out because one of the things that I really like on some saws is, is kind of a lever that's on the outside here instead of this, uh, the shaft twist lock. But the way that DeWalt designed both of these saws, you can access that twist uh, from the top here. So it really is very accessible, very easy to get to. Uh, so as far as those twist locks goes, that's a pretty good design. All right, let's move over. I'm going to go ahead and switch out this battery uh, from the one that came with it because I know this two amp hour is charged. And I'm going to grab some safety glasses real quick. Oh, not tinted ones. There we go. Okay. So this is the DeWalt Atomic. This is the 20 volt version. And uh, we really liked what it had as far as vibration control goes. In fact, I think this, this was the one that we said has the best vibration control in its class. And... Uh, of course, that pivoting shoe helps us on this round material. So let's see how fast it cuts. Okay. 
Very easy cut for that, and I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not, but of course it's really nice the way that pivoting shoe just works its way around as you're cutting. You don't have to do a lot of sawing motion to help it out. And uh, let's just see how the, how the 12 volt version does on the same cut. Now, of course, this doesn't have a pivoting shoe, so you're gonna have to work with it a little bit more. Um, but the first thing I can tell, it is lighter. I can tell that right just by picking it up. And of course, you expect it just with the smaller battery pack even. So. It felt just a little bit slower. Of course, I'm going to need to make a lot more cuts before I can determine that. We'll actually put a stopwatch on it. Uh, the vibration control there was still very good. Uh, and even though I needed to kind of work around the saw uh, because it didn't have the pivot, it didn't bother me. And this is, you know, this is three inch PVC, so it's pretty big stuff for what the, this kind of saw is designed to cut. Uh, I definitely expect that it's going to be a killer tool for PVC for you guys that are doing plumbing or irrigation. Uh, it's going to be able to cut EMT really, really well. I don't know that it's going to be uh, a huge difference between the Atomic and the 12 volt. So if you like those new 12 volt brushless tools that DeWalt came out, I do. I'm using them. Um, I think this is going to be a great saw. So if you got any questions about it, feel free to leave them in the comments below. The price on this is going to be $149 as a bare tool, $169 as a kit with that 3 amp hour battery. I'm going to put a lot more testing into this. Of course, if you guys have any questions, I want to know so I can be looking for those while I do the review. I'm Kenny. Thanks for watching. Hey, help us out by subscribing to the channel below and tap that bell to get notified when we post new tool reviews and shootouts. And as always, thanks for watching.